G'day everyone, it's Teenik back here in Transport Fever in the area immediately to the, I think it was north of Boston. North? South? South of Boston. We should look that up, that's probably important. Uh, but I'd like to welcome you back to part three, I think it's part three, I've already lost count, of our American free game. And we see one of the trains we successfully launched, you know, like into space, uh, last week, trotting, trotting? I can't talk today, I should just, I should just quit while I'm behind. Uh, trotting across the level crossing, and isn't that a nice little bump there that we've made for ourselves, so, I just, that's just professional track work right there. I can't let that stand, I'm going to fix that right now, before we get into something important. Hopefully we have the money for this, I didn't check, just, nope, okay, that's not going to, nope, well. Oh. Uh, attention, livestock, trains. I have broken the railway line and don't know how to fix it. That's a lie, I do know how to fix it. And I just did fix it. There's still a bit of a, a bump there, a bit of a divot, a, a div, 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 a, a, a whatever you call it. Uh, put the signal that we knocked down back. Uh, but everything is well again. The flashy warning has racked off. Now, this time, today, what are we doing? I have completely forgotten. Uh, I think it's finally time to get that passenger route going that I have promised and prattled on about and yacked and, yeah. Look, I've been writing checks that I haven't been cashing. I've been saying we're building a passenger route. As you can see, we don't have a passenger route yet. What is the go with that? Well, I say enough. I say no more. I say I'm making good on my promises. And look at me. I'm building a passenger station. I'll build it 240 meters because I want to be prepared for the future. I'm going to have to knock down someone's house to do this. I don't want to, but it appears as if I, I've been given no other option. Nope. Yeah, okay, well if I'm going to have to knock down someone's house, I might as well make it worth my while and build a decent bit of road. Wait, did that say one building? No, they did. no there's always going to be one building needing to be removed, so. Uh, is this going to be a good spot to build our station? I'm pretty sure we covered last time the, uh, the reason we can't build a terminus here. If we didn't, I hope you're a mind reader because I'm not going over it again. I don't like repeating myself. Who am I kidding? I repeat myself all the time. I'm a bloody parrot. Uh, let's have a look. That's going to be expensive because it's digging into the side of the hill. Uh, look, if, what if we move it over here a bit? Yeah, okay. That might, might be a bit of a better option. Let's, uh, let's just get a bit of road going down here. I realize we're getting further out from town and we are going to... That's going to necessitate the use of a feeder service, but I don't think we're going to be, there's going to be much avoiding that. Uh, let's drop it down there. Look at that. We capture a solid four residential buildings. So how many people live here? Three, six, nine, eight, eleven. We have eleven potential passengers who can walk to our station. I know, I know that, that I, I'm overwhelmed by the response too. Uh, but okay, so we need to get this railway line going. I'm thinking we're heading up to Tucson, as I discussed earlier. Uh, we have Boston's industrial area on the... Well, it's not on the grow, but it's uh, it's being supplied, so hopefully it will grow over time. And Tucson's commercial area is... Well, it's not growing either, but hopefully it will grow over time too, because we are supplying food. Uh, we will interrupt this uh, track building exercise to throw another couple of trucks on food to make sure that this whole supply chain keeps on going the way it's going. Uh, now we discussed how to get across this oil line. If we didn't, then I apologise. I've decided we're going to build a big, big viaduct because, well, who doesn't like a good viaduct? If you don't like a viaduct, you know, I have no place in my heart for you. Uh, so we will need to get the track sort of curving around in this direction. That's going to be ludicrously expensive by the looks of it. Uh, we want it to remain slightly raised, but not too much. Sort of just enough that we can build a, a nice bridge over here without without too much fuss. Uh, now, we are going to be expanding with many, many platforms here. Many railway lines will head out through Tucson, so I don't want to build too tight of a yard. In fact, we might actually just try and keep it on the flat initially. Uh, that does require a bit of an embankment, though, which, of course, pushes our price up. Uh, thankfully, we have some loan available to us. Boom. Okay, we'll 
we'll get that going. And we'll sort of head around the corner a bit here, keeping it on the flat. Uh, that's not too unattractive. I don't hate that. I mean, I don't love it, but ooh, we're starting to... Yeah, we're definitely going to get our, our bridge. Now, we are going to want to drag this sort of over yonder. Is that going to... That's going to put a bit of a curve in the track. Let's try. Can we get it straight? Not really. Uh, now, let's see what we can do about a bridge. Nope. Okay, there we go. That's not too hard. Uh, we need to drag it out a bit more. Uh, we can't if we lower it. Oh, there we go. We get a bridge. We get a very impressive viaduct going over the highway, over the oil line. Looks like plenty of clearance there. I just worry if we want to add a third track for whatever reason. We shouldn't, but I just the game gets a bit thingy about building under bridges. Yes, okay. We'll, we'll deal with you in a minute once we pick our bridge. Now, this bridge needs to stand the test of time. Uh, still got a bit of a curve to it. Can I unkink that? I can... sort of? Uh, still got a bit of a curve on it. Just... What is it? It's going to snap when it's straight. It snapped, it's straight, it's good. It's good, it's good. Uh, now, I can't remember if you can actually upgrade bridges. Uh, no, that's not what we wanted. We can make it higher and more expensive, but we'll leave it now. Yeah, half a million, that's not too bad. Now, what do we got? We got wooden bridge, 60 k's now. That's probably going to be a bit slow going forward. Wooden and stone bridge, which is... Ooh, that's quite attractive. Uh, unfortunately, it is still 60 k's now, but it's... Uh, yeah, I mean, the trestle, that has some sort of romance to it, but the, that that's better. Uh, we could go for a concrete and stone sort of uh, edifice here. Uh, what else have we got? We've got a different type of concrete. Dark stone or light stone. Ooh, the lightstone bridge is a bit narrow. Not much room there if you need to get off the train and fix something. We've got this impressive looking beastie. Uh, that does push the price up by about 200 grand though. Or we've got what appears to be the road bridge adapted for trains, which is, it's definitely green. Uh, you know, it doesn't, doesn't really fit in with the landscape. It sort of stands out like a sore thumb. Uh, we need to try and find a, a happy place between cost and and speed. So I'm thinking we're going with the... Let's go with the dark stone. I, I, I like that better than the really narrow narrow viaduct there. And that's got, some, that's got some good room under it for things to pass. 609 grand. Make it happen before I change my mind. And that's got us heading in the right direction too, which is important. Uh, oh, we've got a sawmilly type thing up here. Possibly a sawmill. That's, that's good to know. Now, with our line passing through Tucson, we are going to want to make sure we can keep going up to Columbia and Gainesville. Uh, this scenery over here is not terribly conductive to building a train station, though. I don't particularly want to sort of ram it through the middle of town at great expense. Uh, we could build one on the outskirts of town, sort of tunnel around here, or we could try and get across this road or have the road cross us and build it over here. I'm, I'm definitely leaning towards this side of town. Uh, we can, we can, you know, bridge over the road and head off in the direction of Gainesville or head up towards Columbia. We've even got this enterprising chap uh, having built his his shop out here. Obviously, he knows something we don't. This is going to be an up and coming part of town. Uh, I, I would personally have built my shop over near the supplier, which is us, bringing the food in. But, you know, eh, people do what they do. Uh, so we will be looking at... Uh, what are we looking at? You know what, this isn't, this isn't too bad. It is complaining about too much curvature. But I suspect that is the road. Yes, okay, so if we drag it away from the road a bit, and then just sort of, whoop, nope, too much curvature again. There we go, it's happy with that. I am wary, though, that if we're going to extend this station, uh, we're going to be sort of, whoop, digging into the mountain a bit. So, what if we sort of built it over here, around the back of the truck stop? We'll have to demolish a commercial building to fit the road in here, but I think we'll have a bit more room to play with. Uh, now, to get around the road up here, we'll need to put a kink in it. That was completely the wrong thing I needed to do. That's more like it. That's uh, a bit too much of a kink. Can we, can we? That's not enough of a kink. Can we sort of find a middle ground here? Nope. It did. Nope. We're just gentle, gentle. Don't rush these things. That's not too bad. Let's uh, let's throw that down there. Gives us plenty of room for expansion. At it. Hmm. 
Yeah, remember last time how I spoke about how bulldozing fields costs a fortune and I didn't want to do it? It, it mm, yeah, I wonder if I can potentially just kink that track at the end around a bit. To What did I just do there? Is that... Yes, okay, so I can, I can curve that track around. If I do that, it bleeds into our truck stop. So we might just have to do that. How much is that going to cost me? Yeah, 100 grand. Okay, well, that's full on me. There's a lesson here, and that's a fun-looking station. It's a bit of an S-bend. Well, if you're going to do it, do it properly. Or half-arse it and do it properly later. You know, either or. Now, what were you complaining about? We don't know, because you've stopped complaining. I reckon you are arcing up, because you don't have too much food there. I reckon you're arcing up, because we've got too much food waiting here. So, uh... Let's just keep buying more horses and putting them on the Tucson deliveries route. Unfortunately, there's no way to make that more efficient because to draw a straight shot across there would uh, would involve demolishing at least one field. That's not... I've, I've changed streets there. Uh, no, I didn't want to demolish four. I just, I just wanted a price check on one. Uh, yeah, 425 grand. I'd rather just have more trucks on the route. And, you know, as, as they become more efficient, we can downsize. Now, getting our track going here, uh, we'll just pause because we are definitely going to upset our, our horse carts here. Just want to pause time briefly, it's nothing, nothing, nothing going on here, and get our level crossing in there. Hopefully that hasn't broken our railway line. It's not great, but it's not bad. And we'll hit play again, there we go. Okay, so, horses are all happy, everyone's still heading in, no, you're heading in the wrong direction, you're empty. Uh, you're heading in the right direction. 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 You were trying to turn around because you got confused. Everyone at home saw it. Look, we're not mad. We're just disappointed. Uh, now, if I can read a map right, we want to... Let's just let's just see what, see what the game wants to do. It wants to... Okay, so we we can keep it reasonably flat as long as we detour around this hill. That's that's not that's not too bad. Uh, let's sort of go this way, avoid the hill, go there. Uh, we'll smash out some road. No one cares. No one's using that sawmill. Now, if I do that, we've got a little bit of a cutting there, which uh, actually that that's quite beneficial because we should be able to just no. Uh, it maybe maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. No, definitely not. Okay. Uh, mate, mate. No, no, no. Okay, we can put a bridge in there, but it is hideous, so we won't. Uh, it's not like we're using this road. We will just put a level crossing in and hope that it didn't do anything stupid. Okay, you've gotten away with it this time, game. And uh, yeah, you know what? Apart from a slight visibility issue, if you're driving down this hill, do 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 do. Stop. Look for trains. No, it's not too bad. As long as you can see through the cutting. We'll be right. So, that is the line connected up. Good stuff. Now, we will need a depot. I'm thinking I'll build it sort of over this side of the station, just because we will have a lot of uh, lines heading off in this direction. So, we'll probably have our first few. Although, that being said, we'll also have a lot going off in this direction, too. So, it's sort of hard to pick where we put the depot. Hmm. You know what? Let's put the depot up in Tucson. We'll uh, we'll write it off as, as a business expense that Tucson needs its economy boosted with a train depot and it'll sort of help us bookmark this land uh, for future expansion if we want to add another truck terminal in. Uh, connect the track up like that. That looks alright. I don't hate it. Uh, good, good. we got a door so we can get into the depot. Important. And, you know, people in the industrial area here, they can, they can look out at our depot and know that the future has arrived. The Iron Horse is here. Now, trains. We have the option of the Baldwin six-wheeler we've been using on our freight trains, or the European uh, D1 third, or 1 slash 3, I'm not, not quite sure what it wants to be called. It's, uh, you know, it, it might identify as a third. I don't know. I don't know how this works. However, at the end of the last part, uh, just after I stopped recording, it went da 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 and announced that we had unlocked the General. Uh, 317 grand, so it's about twice the cost of the other engines, which is which is disappointing. But we're looking at something that can do 45 k's an hour instead of 40. That seemed a lot bigger in my mind. 
No, I'm not touching that. No, I'm not going anywhere with that. It, just, just leave it. Just move on. So we can look at the general. 177 horsepower versus 95 or 68 respectively. 52 grand a year to run. So again, sort of double what we're looking at for these trains. Uh, but you know what? That extra speed, that will help us keep our passengers happy. So let's have one of you. Uh, passenger car. Yeah, let's get... We well, can build the European one. This tiny little four-wheel number that can hold six people. <laughs> Or 14 people. Apparently everyone needs a window seat and an aisle seat for their bag. Uh, an early passenger car with a wooden structure. Yeah, that makes sense. Offering only basic amenities on board. Well, before you had to walk the entire distance or ride on your horse. So basic amenities don't bother me. Uh, we can afford to build two passenger carriages. Oh, and I haven't connected our train station yet. Boy, am I glad I didn't uh, spend all that money. Uh, first, we'll have to set the line up, of course. So it'll start in Boston and go to Tucson. Uh, now, did we decide this was north or south? I can't remember. No, nope, close everything. Keep that open. Uh, what did you call yourself? Branch? No. North. Okay, so this we will call the Southern Line, just because we have no idea where it's going and it is sort of heading south of Boston. My logic is infallible. You will agree. Uh, Boston, yes. Tucson, yes. Southern Line, yes. We will tell our train. Uh, off you go on the Southern Line. We will have to add more carriages to you later. Now that is a magnificent looking steam engine. Go forth, my friend. Explore your new line. Pick up our many passengers, of which we probably have none, because I'm also concerned about how close this tree is to the tracks. I'll let you stay for now, but don't you go falling in front of one of my trains. Uh, we need to connect this up, otherwise we will get literally bugger all happening. Now, if we do that, that's 610 grand. I may have not thought this all the way through. Uh, if we do that, that's only 109 grand, and it only knocks down one building. Oh, saved by the bell. So that's the roads connected up. I'm I'm hoping that town will uh will fill this area in like a like a toddler that's had too much Coca-Cola. And uh, yeah, and that will then draw more business to our passenger line. We will also set up a feeder bus network as well. This one is actually connected up. That's right, I, I actually planned ahead in this instant. I know, shock horror. But we need to connect these these stations up into the rest of the town because currently Boston is not serving a few people. We've, we've got a few people interested. But, you know, that is not much of a destination for the city, especially not when we're probably going to be bringing workers in from Tucson to work in our industrial area. So we will need to set up a bus route. Now, we can either set up a bus terminal uh, up near the station here, or we could loop the road around and just put a roadside bus stop in, sort of like that. Uh, look, I think we're going to have a few bus routes coming in and terminating at our train station here. It'll be eventually a very impressive train station. In fact, speaking of impressive, we can add additional street connections. That's the wrong one. There we go, that will capture a couple more houses. What's that going to cost me? 100 grand. Hmm. I'm going to do it because it'll help. But it, it... Oh, here we go. No, it did have a bit more of a dramatic result. There we go. We've, we've caught a big chunk of town now. Uh, so I will put in a bus terminal. Uh, let's just drop it in there. Why not? And uh, that's a bit of a that's a bit of a hill there. That's okay. That's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We don't have to worry. Uh, we will build. We'll start with a bit of a loop. We'll have a stop down in town. Once autosave finishes doing its thing, we'll have a stop up here. Oh, I imagine the bus will swing up around through the industrial area. Have a stop there. Uh, let's have another stop down in the centre of town. Uh, we'll probably have to cut down these side streets, although we can avoid that if we send him up this way. And then we'll chuck another stop down, well, I'd say about here, catch anyone that we've missed so far. Ah, uh, that's, that's a reasonable, it's not much of a circle, it's more of a flattened kidney bean with a, a bit sticking off the end of it. But I, I think it's okay, I think it's okay. Ooh, tram depot. Hmm. 
We'll start with buses, but I'm not going to rule out trams. Now, where's a, where's a place to build the bus depot that's not going to get in the way of my expansion plan? Certainly not over here, because we're going to be running a line out here. Uh, why don't we drop it down sort of on the edge of town out here? Just sort of, yeah. There we go. That's not going to get in the way, is it? No, no, not at all. Uh, set up a new line from our bus terminal. And we'll just have a one-way circle for now. If it, uh, if it becomes popular, we might add a opposite direction to help people get to where they need to go. And we will call that the Boston City Circle. I think that's, that's a reasonable name. I mean, it's not a circle, but if, if you want to argue semantics, why are you even here? You're watching my video. It's, yeah. Uh, we need some vehicles for that route too. What do we have available? We have the horse carriage, which looks wonderfully primitive. Or we have the stagecoach, which costs exactly the same. Has exactly the same stats. There's that 2.7 horsepower again. And it looks like it has far better amenities for the passengers. A common stagecoach used for public transportation in the early years. Well, that, that ticks, ticks all the boxes. Uh, let's set two of them up for starters. And if the route is popular, we will add more. Yeah, that's that's quite the fancy looking looking vehicle there. I mean, this is this is the rich and famous riding around in style in this thing. As long as the horses don't have really bad flatulence, then then there's not much style there. There's no dignity in that. So that is the route set up in Boston. Uh, let's do the same up here in town with no name. Tucson. Yes, I, I knew that. I was testing you. You're all crying out at home saying, how can he forget the name of Tucson? Easily. Very easily. Uh, so we'll just have a bus stop here because I reckon we'll just have him run down this street here. Uh, we'll pop one in over here. Uh, now we want to capture this sort of nice residential area up in the hills. I imagine this is where the rich and famous will be living. Uh, now we have to head back down this street here. So we'll pop one down near the centre of town. And we'll just have one over here near old mate and his uh, optimistic commercial building. Now, we already have a truck depot out here, so we don't have to build one of those. And we will just set up ourselves a new line. Oh, we don't need that. Ooh, pink. That's pretty. So head down this way, please. Then head over here, up here, back down through the centre. To I see you've decided to run the back streets anyway. Uh, wouldn't be the route I would choose, because when we get the private car, that will probably become a quagmire of traffic snarl. Yeah, that's that's the route connected up, and we will call you the Tucson City Circle. I know, predictable, but you know, we're gonna we're gonna stay uh, consistent as long as possible. So say one to two episodes. Uh, we'll get the stagecoach again, and we will send him on his way on the Tucson City Circle. Yeah, see, see, look how easy that was to locate that route. And we're still having a lot of food. Uh, sort of sitting around up here and as that's probably meat we really don't want it to spoil sitting on the hot sun uh, it's in apparently very modern uh, you know modern day refrigerated containers and we're going to load it on the back of a horse cart not going to argue just going to let it happen and we've got some more food waiting here but we seem to be keeping on top of the cattle and food deliveries which is good uh, we seem to be keeping on top of the oil and fuel deliveries, which is good. Boston seems quite happy with the fuel we are providing them. And, oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. Shh, we don't want to spook them. We've got a passenger. Here they are. Okay, she has literally decided to wait right at the end of the platform. Uh, sweetheart, the train's going to stop, like, up there somewhere. No? Uh, okay, well, there's no telling her. But as I predicted, she wants to go to the shop. Now, that shop is in Tucson. It's this shop specifically. I don't know what they sell. Uh, they are being supplied with food, though, so I'm assuming there's some sort of restaurant. Uh, we'll call that... Oh, we can't rename it. Oh, that's disappointing. I wanted to give it a cool name. But yeah, so she is willing to catch the train. I don't know where she lives. It, it, the game won't show me. But she has come down to our station. I don't know if she's walked. She might have caught the bus. And she is going to catch the train up along our brand new southern line. 
Yeah, see, no one on board yet. Up the southern line, down the southern line, along the southern line, up to Tucson, uh, where I've forgotten where that shop was. I think it was this one. And she'll probably be able to walk there from the station. Yeah, so she is just going to grab a train up to the shop and do her shopping, and then she will head home. Uh, what does a ticket cost on this train, by the by? It, that is not the right line. That is not the right window to look at. Uh, where is it? it? Does show us somewhere? Ticket price per kilometre. Well, that's not very helpful. Um, I swear there was a way to look up what a ticket cost on our train. But either way, that is good. So hopefully people in Tucson will get the memo. They might they might have to get the stagecoach down from their houses, but they will get the coach down to the train station. And from the train station, they will commute to their job in Boston. Obviously, they'll need to get the stagecoach down to the industrial area. But no matter, we have the facilities in place. We have the amenities provided. And hopefully, we will start seeing a bit of a profit on that line. Well, so far, we're in the green this year. That's not too bad. Obviously, we spent a lot of money last year. And uh, we're down about $1.4 million, which is not ideal. But out of that... 2.5 million profit and we spent about a million dollars yeah just over a million dollars on our running costs so we've we're pretty much making twice what we're spending uh assuming we don't buy anything new which is good we're still struggling to stay on top of these food deliveries although it was about 90 something earlier so hopefully we're getting it down because at four each you're uh you're not winning any awards there it might be time to find another customer for our food just to avoid a, a potential backlog and situation where they start yelling at us. So obviously we will extend that line down towards Orange because we can then snap up this cattle over here at Ventura and we'll then truck the cattle into Ventura as well. Uh, I like building lines for freight as that then lets us add passengers to the existing line uh, because passenger trains, they don't make money from the get-go. Let's see how ours is doing. Yep, still running empty. Still just hemorrhaging money. So he will take a little while to actually turn a profit. Uh, we might have to put another couple of carriages on, on that train as well before we, we start seeing a return on our investment. So if a railway line is built for freight and is used for freight, like you know this one here is, we'll, we'll be able to tap into that. Okay, well, we won't be able to tap into much of it, but we'll, in fact, we'll probably go around the back of the refinery, so I'm talking out of me bum. Uh, but, you know, if we, can, if we can tap into a line for freight, pay for the cost of the line with our freight profits, then we can chuck the passenger train on. Oh, we've got a couple of people waiting at Tucson, uh, not Tucson, at Boston now. 11 passengers. Wacko. He's come down for a bit of a perv. Hey, you see, he's going to a shop as well. He's going to the shop. Oh, 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 sorry. <clears throat> Go to the shop. Go to the shop. Go to the shop. I'm sensing a pattern here. Shop. Shop. Oh, you, you two wore the same outfit. You, you're not going to have a problem with that? Oh, there's three of them. The clones are back. Yeah, so three people in the same outfit. That's not what I meant to exclaim about. I meant to say... 11 passengers all going to shop. Now, once they're finished shopping, of course, they're going to have to catch the train home again, which is fantastic. Hopefully, we start seeing some workers up in Tucson who will uh, who will get our stagecoach down from the residential area. No one got off that one? No? Also, our station building has a hovering bench and bin. and I'm assuming that's a side effect of the fact that we've got our, uh, the curves in the platform. I, I yeah. Look, it, it probably doesn't bear to look too closely at it. In fact, if we were to upgrade it to, say, four tracks, we get a bigger building. Doesn't really fix our issue. Even eight tracks. Okay, so we're just going to have to live with a with an ugly building at this at this station for a while, I think. Uh, just don't look too closely at it. Ignorance is bliss. We'll look at it from here. Uh, what's Boston look like? That's a perfectly straight platform, so hopefully that looks fine. Yeah, see, that's, that's how nature intended the station to look. So you come in here, you go up a little ramp in there, and you're on the platform. Not uh, not the Tucson Architects method, which was you come in the front door here, you walk up a little ramp, and then have to sort of make a leap of faith. And if you want to sit down, well, tough luck, you need to fly. And there are plenty of seats on the platform anyway, although they don't look terribly comfortable. In fact, they look like station signs that you can sort of sit on. Uh, but no matter, there's no one waiting there anyway, so I don't know why we're too worried about that. 
Uh, I will run the clock forward a bit. I will cut that out for the benefit of you not having to watch time pass very slowly while we make some money. Uh, but we will continue developments shortly. So our passenger train is making his departure from Boston, and now he has a solid 19 passengers on board. That's over half full. That's that's pretty darn good considering we only just set the route up. Uh, really not disappointed with that. Hopefully we can see a similar take up in Tucson over in the distance there and actually get some more passengers on our trains. Maybe they're having trouble getting into the building uh, after after what we dwelled on before with the entrance being a bit a bit funny. Actually, it would behoove us, yeah, that's right, I used that word, uh, to add a street connection up this end to capture more than just that one commercial building. No, that's the wrong one. Yes, that's better. Now, if we hit apply, at the moment we've only got that one. That's going to cost us 100 grand, though. But you know what? There we go. Look at this. Now we've captured a couple more buildings. Uh, every little bit counts, and it looks like the town is going to help us out, too. Let's sort of finish their work for them. And look at that. Thanks to their, their decision to build a road in this direction by completing it. I mean, probably could have let the town do it. We've now captured a really big chunk of Tucson. Hopefully that will give us more options in terms of passengers coming from Boston because they might not want to catch the stagecoach. They might just want to walk to their destination. And they now have sort of the, the city centre available to them, which is good. Uh, while we are ticking up the money, I will sort of start building our tracks in this direction a bit. Yeah, keep it flat. Keep it flat. Keep it happy. That's expensive. We won't go that far. Uh, just to make sure we've sort of bookmarked the route we want to take. And we've already put an ugly hump in it. Well done us. Uh, so, yeah, that, that was a smart decision on my part. Let's just sort of... Yeah, we'll build an expensive embankment. Why not? Now it's going too much uphill. Uh, this was not a smart move on my part. Okay, well, we're, we're heading that direction eventually anyway. We'll, just, we'll probably end up demolishing it all, but at least it sort of gives the town an idea of where we want to build our train line. That was a dramatic pause in there for no reason. Uh, so that, that way, hopefully, they moderate their road building across the tracks and don't block us with many expensive houses that we need to demolish. Now, what industry do we have down here? We've got a couple of oil wells. We've got a refinery, which might be useful. Uh, we could also obviously ship the oil down our passenger line over to this refinery, if we so desire. Looking at the grade they'd have to climb, that's not a terribly attractive option, but you never know. Uh, we've also got a coal mine. We've got a couple of sawmills. Off in the distance, we've got more coal, iron ore, and stone. Ooh, it's got quite a productive area down here. Got more iron ore there. Oh, we've got a steel mill at Columbia. We've got a couple of steel mills. Now that, that's going to be interesting. Yes. Yes. Leave it with me. I will have a bit of a ponder. Okay, well, I'm rather pleased to uh, to announce that the passenger line has taken off guns blazing. I think I've mixed my metaphors up there, but uh, we're going to run with it. Because not only have all the people who were shopping... Uh, decided they've completed their shopping and would like to go home to Boston. It looks like some of the Tucson natives are trying to go to Boston to go to work. Well, she's going home. Yeah, see, there you go. Kenneth Powell has got a job in Boston and will be using our train to commute. Now, that's a problem because we have 38 people waiting for a train with a capacity of 28. Uh, so it looks like we're going to need to add another couple of carriages to our train here. Uh, so we are going to send you off to the depot. We will extend our loan again. I just paid it down. I'll put it on uh, hyperspeed to get him back to the depot quicker. Uh, yeah, so I just paid our loan down slightly, down to four million from the five million we started the year at. And well, this year we've made a million dollars in profit. That's not too shabby. And we will uh, we will upgrade him with another couple of carriages and send him on his way. I don't want to add too much more than four carriages onto this train because it is only a little engine. Uh, that, that'll probably necessitate the building of a second train, which really does not upset me at all. Like, you can you can hear the sadness in my voice. Uh, unfortunately, we are going to have to extend that loan right before the end of the year. Oh, actually, we can just... Let's just, just make people wait a bit. They're, they're going to be waiting long enough anyway. And we'll just wait till the end of the year just so we can save 10 grand on our loan interest. That's right, I am that much of a tight ass. 
December 30, 31st, January 1st. New Year. Good. Cha-ching. Uh, I don't know why we borrowed that much money. We probably don't need it. Uh, let's check another two passenger carriages on this train. Th this train. Who will be going back onto the southern line? Uh, we'll hit hyperspeed to get him out of the depot, and then we'll turn him around to go pick up the punters waiting at Tucson, half of which have gotten the shits and left by the looks of it. So, yeah, good thing we put those extra passenger carriages on. But now he has a capacity of 56, so he is prepared for the future. Uh, you're going home. I can see why you didn't abandon the place. You're going to work. Autosave is working hard. You're going home. Good, good. Well, I'll pay down a bit of a loan there. Good stuff. Okay, well, you... Okay, so far you're not doing great, but... You know, I'm going to leave you to it. Uh, we will need to work on extending this to at least have some passing loops. We probably don't need to go straight out double track yet. But we, we want to we want to extend it to have some passing loops now. Actually we probably don't want to put the track in uh, the points in there. We'll probably put them in after the depot. Sort of about about there. That's not too bad. That looks alright. Because uh, eventually we will have two platforms here, but obviously while trains are turning around we only need the one. Uh, we will put a passing loop in though. Uh, we're planning for double track. We'll just sort of chuck a turnout in like that and pop some signals down to space our trains out. We won't put one there. Yeah, lots of whistling going on. Struth. Yeah, we'll just we'll just leave it with the two signals. That should be fine. Uh, whack in a signal there as well. Now, obviously, I do not want to do too much in double tracking the bridge. God, no. Uh, so we'll double track up to the bridge. Chuck in a set of points there. And we'll just chuck in a set of points sort of there. That should be a long enough loop for the trains we're running. Uh, throw down a few signals. Hoping for the best. There we go. That looks pretty. That's nice. And once they get over the bridge, well, the station's right there. So we probably don't need the second track in. It occurs to me I built that stupid passing loop on the wrong side too, because that would involve the second track coming in on this side of the line. Bang, straight into a platform. Well done, me. Uh, pay down that loan again. Good. Things are going well. It's February, and we've already paid down the loan we increased to get that second, uh, the second, the third and fourth, rather, carriages for our train. Good. So hopefully he will start turning a profit soon. Uh, let's jump ahead into the future and see what that looks like. Now, just looking at Angel Stewart here. The hell sort of a name is Angel? Isn't that like that vampire from Buffy? Are you a vampire? Yeah, anyway, looking at Angel Stewart here, I expected him to get off the train and wander over to our bus terminal here to get the stagecoach because his work is all the way on the other side of town. Uh, apparently he's quite happy to walk the distance, which is, you know, that's good because it means he's, he's a passenger on our train, so he's paid for a train ticket, thus contributing to the viability of that, well, very expensive bridge we built. However, the fact that he's walking means he's not giving us any more money. Now, I can only assume he's not catching the bus because either there's too many people waiting here or the frequency isn't good enough. So I'm just going to throw down another couple of stagecoaches on the old Boston City Circle line there just to try and attract a bit more business from the train station. Uh, but sure enough, predictably, the train arrived, everyone teleported magically to this exit and walked out onto the street, which uh, works for me. One thing I realised I forgot to do with my passing loops is put in a couple of one-way signals. So we'll just change them up to be one-way to make sure our train knows which track to be on. Uh, last thing we need is a couple of trains having a steering contest. Uh, so let's have a look. Yeah, see, there we go. Now he's happily going through the loop on that occasion and on this occasion. Good. I like it when everything works out. And you have got one passenger on board. And you've left someone behind. Well done. Now, while our passenger train starts to sort of chuff back and forth to make up a decent uh, customer base there, look at that, we've already got people moving in near the station because they've seen the, the desirability of living near the train station for the convenient commute to the next town to do their shopping. Uh, I would like to kick on with extending our food and cattle line because uh, I can see potential customers here in Orange as well as Ventura up here and a farm. 
So I reckon we are going to have to start by expanding this out to two platforms. Kablamo. And, and that has managed to break everything. I forgot the curve stations don't like expanding. Uh, we'll quickly just fix everything up there. Doo -doo -doo. And we'll quickly reconnect our depot up again. Doo -doo 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 -doo. There we go. Happy days. Uh, so this line here, I was going to send off in yonder direction, but it appears as if we've got a depot on the way. Uh, let's just re-demolish that line. I know I just rebuilt it. Uh, planning. It's, it's not for everyone. Clearly, it's not for me. Uh, we'll build that around as a double track for starters, just so we can ensure we are future-proofed. Uh, now we'll just drop you in like that, and we'll put a second track in. Is that going to look attractive? It's it's not unattractive. I I don't I don't love it. In fact, if we just double slip those points, they're going to be a bit slow, but they're going to get the job done. So our trains will be able to come out into either platform there. Uh, we got we got a bit of ugly ugly bumps in the land here. I noticed the ballast bleeding through. No, no, we seem to be fine. Uh, good. Okay, so we will also need to connect this track up here, and we'll just leave that as a dead end siding for now. Uh, bring up the contours. That is an important part of what we're doing to know where the land is and lay lay our track accordingly. Uh, so what are we going uphill for? We, don't we want to go downhill towards Orange? Ooh, we're gonna get sort of Okay, let's rethink this. Let's uh, let's just go back a bit. Uh, what if we try to sort of cut around and through this this little mountain here? Yeah, there we go. Work our way down to Orange that way. Yeah, it's not too bad. And we're going past this convenient iron ore mine. Orange appears to have a little bump outside of it, which doesn't help us. Uh, we'll knock down that road there. We'll continue. Now, getting into orange, are we going to go up and over the hill, or are we going to go through it? If we go through it, it's going to cost us a frickin' fortune. Hmm. Okay, let's, let's try uh, going around this way. No, I'm still not happy with us. Uh, please stay flat now. Oh, here we go. We have the option for a tunnel, which is only a tiny bit more expensive than sort of the cutting. I say a tiny bit more expensive. It hasn't emerged yet. Okay, so scratch that. It's significantly more expensive than the cutting. Oh, that's because it's trying to stay flat. Oh, silly me. I don't want to do that anymore. Uh, now, we have to think in terms of future passenger station as well for our when we put our freight station down. Uh, so passenger station will probably go in around here. So this, this tunnel uh, is, is quite suitable. Yeah, I don't hate that. It's a bit of an uphill grade, but... Well, we're going to have to go uphill to get an orange anyway. It's only... It's it's shy of half a mil. So, where are we in November? Okay, so we might wait. We might wait. We'll just fast forward a bit till the new year, and then we'll max our loan out and just go absolutely bonkers. Well, that's New Year's. Uh, so long, 1860. We barely knew you. It is now 1861, and it brings with us all the promise of a new year. So, let's borrow up there. Boom! We have now... In, in the space of one night, tunneled straight through this sort of hillish, not really a mountain, it's, it's definitely a hill. Uh, now, we want to put a passenger station down, so we will drop him in there. We will build, we'll build this ahead of time, because we will obviously need it eventually. Uh, we'll plop him down sort of there. wonder if we can't actually get a bridge over this road. I've, I've noticed the land sort of dips in. Uh, no, we can't. Good to know. That's, that's good. That's good. Good to be prepared. Uh, so we'll also build a freight station. Uh, let's put that on the other side so that we're not uh, we're not really splitting our train up our tracks up too much. Uh, we need room to expand the passenger and the freight station. So we'll sort of put that in there, I guess. Yeah, where's this road go? San Bernardino. Okay, so if we demolish this road, we will get in trouble. Told you. Uh, but that's okay. We'll connect up through the passenger line. Wow, that's... Are we sure we can't get a bridge out of that? No. No, okay. That's that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, we will just have to deal with building the road around another way. Uh, we'll bring this track in here. I know this is expensive, but uh, we're future-proofing. Probably. Now, question. How do we get the road to the other side of the railway line? Uh, not like that. 
Uh, okay, well, that's that's an option the game has suggested to me. What if we go down? Nope, nope, no. Okay, so there's no there's no way we can reconnect that up. Not directly, anyway. However, we do have this road coming up to the iron ore mine, which happens to pass over a certain tunnel that someone has built. I don't know why you need to demolish a building to build a road on this side. Construction not possible. Why? Why? Fine, we'll go from the... Okay, we're, we're bankrupt. Uh, problem solved. Let's just go right over the top. Hopefully that will solve all of our problems and not create any new ones that we weren't aware of. So we'll bring you down here. Boom. Look at that. And conveniently enough, we can connect that up like that. Uh, now there's a bit of a roundabout route for our trucks to get into town, so we'll probably end up having to build another crossing over here. Uh, but this is where we will be able to unload our our food trucks. Uh, now they will be coming into the station this way, so the loaded cattle trains that we will be getting from Ventura will be coming out this way. Uh, I'll connect that up there, put a bit of a dummy trap. No. Put a bit of a dummy track in like that. Uh, now, we need, we'll get rid of this. This is just getting in the way. Now, the train line is going to head out towards Ventura. So, we'll, we'll start that going. But we won't finish that. We probably won't finish that this time. That's probably going to be a bit beyond the scope of today's operations. Because I've already built that passenger train. Fixed that passenger train. And then built a new line out to Orange. And hopefully next time we can connect this passenger station up as well. Yes, I know the episodes are all very disjointed. But come on, I'm like a hamster that's had too much caffeine. I just, I don't know what's going on. Uh, so we don't need any signals here. Is that a really, that's quite a hump coming out of that tunnel. That is awful. I don't like that at all. I'm not putting up with it. No, 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 and no, no. No, not dealing. Not di Did we seal the tunnel up? We we did. Well, we're going to have to open it up again, aren't we? Uh, spin the camera around, please. Do, 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 do. Okay, that's not really improved things much at all, has it? Good work, me. Uh, bring this track back down again like it was before. Try not to generate any new embankment action. Uh, bring this track down here and connect it back up again. Okay, there's still a bit of a hump coming out of that tunnel. We uh, we might have to address that later and demolish the tunnel back and really... I say later, I'm doing it now. I, 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 I know if I don't do it now, I won't ever do it. So, it's going to have to happen now. Let's try... Let's try a third time. Now, if I want to connect you up, is that going to be... That's much better. That's much less of a hump there. Look at that. Why can't Why can't we just get things right the first time? I'll answer that question because it's me and I don't pay attention to what I'm doing. Bang. Okay. Uh, third time's the charm. Is this the third time? I notice this loop's got longer every time we've rebuilt it too. Uh, you see, that's much more visually pleasing than the, the ugly hump we had before. We don't want to get too crazy. It's just... Let's just fix the landscape. We sort of bug it up earlier with all of our unnecessary earthworks. Uh, I don't think there's any fixing that bit. That, that bump's just going to stay there. Uh, right, okay. So we will need another train for this line and we'll probably need a couple of signals. Uh, we've got signals down there to protect things. Let's see. We want a new line coming from here, San Bernardino North, down to Orange at Annex, apparently. And that is using a different platform. Happy days. Uh, we will request you to full load. We'll call you... What, what did we call the last route? Uh, we, we named it freight first. So this will be food orange. It sounds like we're describing food as orange. Or we're describing an orange as food. But you all know what I mean when I say food orange. Quickly close that before we dwell on that more and obsess with renaming literally everything. Actually, uh, the food is not just going to orange. We'll have to change that to be consistent with this line. Uh, we'll call it uh, Sinbad. There we go. To orange. It looks like I've tried to type orangutan and failed. Let's try... Um, uh, let's, what are we, or, 
change? No. Well, we'll just go with a we'll go with how we started. That just looks hideous, doesn't it? Does not roll off the tongue at all. Uh, can we afford a train? That is the next question. Now, this is eventually going to connect up to Ventura to pick up the cattle, so I'm not opposed to building the general for this one, the 440. Uh, we'll approach the bank. We'll have one of those, please. Uh, now, again, long-haul route. Let's go with the bigger box car. We can afford uh, more than two, hopefully. Uh, how much capacity does that give us? 35... 42. 42 should be enough for starters. Uh, we will set you up on the food route from Sinbad to Orang. Now, there's no point setting that train in motion, although we have, without somewhere to deliver the food to. Uh, so we will need to get another road going around the outside here. Autosave's going to do some stuff. Autosave. You're, you're saving me from the inevitable computer failure that will result in a net loss of video. Connect. Ugh. Okay, we can do this better. We can we can get a real proper level crossing in here by just doing that. Uh, now is that going to jank up our? It's certainly janked up the road. That is impressive, but it's a road, so who cares? Uh, where's the tick? Tick. Can I fix that somehow? Can I can I make it slightly more palatable? Why didn't you just build it like that to begin with? Why must things be so difficult? Uh, let's just. I know, I know. Bulldoze, bulldoze, bulldoze. That looks much better. Um, there we go. Just, just be really anal retentive about that. So, that gives us our connection. That's a bus stop. Don't you dare build one of those. And we are out of money again. Let's. Never mind. Don't need to borrow. We're, we're cool. We got this. Uh, let's try and put this on the flat. About there. Now, where is the commercial area in orange? Well, that's convenient. It's sort of all the way over here, and it's got this little sticky outy bit that I can shoehorn a truck stop into without upsetting too many people. Uh, let's just go with a small, small street there. There we go. That looks nice. That does not line up for some reason. That does. There we go. That's all right. There's a bit of a bit of a ramp to get in, but uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not against that. I'm not rampist. Okay. You don't like that. You do like that, but it's ugly. Uh, what if we sort of curve you around a bit like that? That's that's slightly more natural, and we've we've included that commercial building there. Uh, nothing left to do but whack down a truck depot like that, and set that up as a line. Ooh, how fitting! Orange food deliveries is actually orange. I I'm quite happy with that. Uh, no, we'll call it deliveries. Del Ives. I can't talk and type at the same time. Orange. Why is that not showing up with Tucson? Because I named Tucson Tucson Deliveries. Okay. Orange Deliveries. Helps if I don't put typos in. Del Ives. Da da da. Better. Uh, and it's quite fittingly orange in colour. That's good. It does sound like we're delivering oranges, though, when we're delivering delicious meat patties. But uh, none, nonetheless, we'll continue. I'll uh, we'll buy a couple of horse wagons for that. Let's say four for starters. See how that goes. And we managed to do that without extending our loan, too, which is good. So, hopefully our friend over here will start getting some food on his platform, which apparently crosses the tracks by magic, because there is no actual way to get the food across. Uh, so far, no. Let's just speed up time and just make sure he is going to pick up some food at some point. I hear another train. I see another train. Oh, no, no. No. What do you mean, no path? Okay, we'll try leaving and coming back. Turn around. You will pick up some food, damn it. No, the food's all trying to go back out on the other route to Tucson. Come on. Come on. Come on, you're, you're a big important factory. Making weird noises. Just give me some food. I want to make sure this is viable before I wrap things up. We're, we're loading the food there, we're taking it there. It should be viable. It, it should, things should work. You, you are producing and you're delivering it all to Tucson for some reason. 
Uh, well, I didn't. I didn't plan on leaving today with a cliffhanger, and I don't have to because he has now started picking up food. So, well, that took the wind out of my sails there, didn't it? Uh, so, look, I think we've done enough for today. We've set up a couple of new routes. We've got our passenger train chuffing along. I'll turn the uh, turn the high speed mode off. What are you doing? 23 or 56. You're still not making a profit yet, but you know what? You're well on your way. 41 people waiting here. So yeah, we've connected up Boston and Tucson uh, with this existing railway line going all the way to Orange. Who knows, next time we might be connecting Tucson and Orange up. Uh, we might connect them up via Boston too. I don't know. I like to leave things up to the whims on the day. But uh, yeah, so I think we've accomplished a bit. We're delivering food to Orange. Soon we'll have more cattle coming in from Ventura and we'll have food going to Orange and Ventura as well. Yeah, so I think I think we're on a we're on a good track. We're in a good place right now. Let's just hope I don't do anything stupid and mess it up. But until next week, thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching the video. I look forward to seeing you all right back here next time when we take on Transport Fever.